what's up everyone? It's your girl Weeza and welcome or welcome back to my world. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I dye my eyebrows. This is one of my biggest eyebrow hacks ever because just a little bit of dye can make you look like you have a lot more eyebrow hairs than you actually do. And the best part about this is that it's a drugstore product. So you can literally go to the drugstore, pick this guy up, bring it home, and within five minutes, you'll have freshly dyed salon looking eyebrows. So Weezo, what is this magical drugstore product that you use? It is the Just For Men Beard and Mustache. I get it in the shade Medium Brown, M35. This stuff is supposed to be used for men's beards and mustaches to keep them not looking so great. But who is to say that it can only be used on beards? So we're gonna use it on our brows today. So I'm gonna open this up and show you everything that you get in it. So it comes with this little tray here, which you can actually disperse the product on if you'd like. You get a physical brush to use for your mustache and your beard. This isn't very precise, so I actually just like to use an angled brush for my brows. So I'll show you how I do that. As well, you get a color base, which is your physical color, as well as your color developer, which you'll mix together in your little tray here. It gives you a little set of instructions that you can read and look through if you've never used the product before. As well, they also give you a pair of gloves. So if you wanted to use the gloves, you can. And then again, the little tray that it comes with, you can see that it tells you to add the, both the developer and the color base onto this little tray here, mix it up, and then you can use it to put on your physical brows. So that is everything that you get in the Just For Men dye kit. I'm gonna take you in now, let you see my eyebrows up close. And this is what we're working with here. So you can see that it's darker in the front and then the color or the brown kind of fades away. I haven't dyed my brows in a really long time. I was growing it out for this video. So you can see that this is what my natural brow hair looks like. So there's a lot of blonde hairs here on the tail. Same with this side. I don't know where my tails went. They kind of just like left one day. I have no clue where they went. I like to use the dye to fill in the tail pieces here as well as fill in these little sparse bits in the front. Mostly concentrate the color there. I put it all over the brows of course, but I mostly do the dye to keep the tails looking nice and clean and fresh. For the physical application, of the product. I'm not going to use a little brush that it comes with. It's too like big and not precise enough for me to like add or remove product if I mess up and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in with this little angled brush. It has a spoolie on one end and then an actual flat angle on the other side. And this is perfect and precise enough for me to get the dye where I want it. I really like having this spoolie because it allows me to brush up the product or brush up my brows before I add the product and vice versa. I believe e.l.f. sells a really affordable dual ended angle brush like this. So I'll link it down below. If not, I'll link some other ones that I find down below to help you out, but this is a game changer. I really, really think that you need to have one of these in your life if you're gonna do this. I'm gonna use a little tray that it comes with and we're gonna mix everything in here. So what we have to do first is add the color base. So you wanna add equal parts of each. So this is what the physical color looks like. And I usually just add a little dot like this, like that's more than enough, probably too much even. Then you wanna go in with this color developer and add the exact same amount onto this little plate as well. So that's about equal parts of each one. Grab your little angle brush and you just mix up everything together. Once you kind of get a color like this, well, if you're using the medium brown, it will look like this. Just till the both of them are mixed together. You can physically apply the product to your brows. So I'm gonna bring you guys in here and I'm just gonna grab my spoolie end and move my brows up just to kind of make sure that we can get the dye inside of the physical brow hairs because sometimes when they're all brushed down, we're not able to get actually inside there. So we just brush them all up. After I brush all my brows, you can already see they look better, but I'm gonna go in with the dye here and I recommend starting with a little bit as you can always build up, but you can't take away. Start with a little bit and add. Another tip is I always start from this part on because that's the place where I want my brows to be the darkest. And then I move in after because it's gonna set for five minutes and it's gonna take time as I do the rest of my brows. So I always like to think about that, that this part will be sitting on my brows the longest. So if I do this part first, then it will be the darkest, which is what I want. So I'm just adding product and going really lightly, especially in this area, because I don't have too much hair. Just kind of patting on the product giving myself a little bit of a shape. Then if you do mess up and you miss your brow a little bit, I just grab a Q-tip and we go in and we just clean that up no problem. So I'm gonna go to this side and do the tails of the side before I do the inner parts of the brow. So again, just brushing everything up, making it look nice and pretty. And you can see this one's a little bit, <laughs> like they're, my brows are definitely not sisters, they're not cousins. They're distant relatives, like they're not similar at all. I like to go really heavy on the tails if you can tell, because that's, like I said, the main part why I do this, because I ain't got no hairs there. I don't know where they went. And it's funny because 
you feel like you're putting a lot of product but don't be scared it will be fine trust me trust me it will be fine I'm just gonna pack a little bit more on this side. You can start to see the color coming here. Now that I'm happy with what the tails are looking like, I'm just gonna go in and lightly fill in the rest as well as the front part of my brows because you can see that I kind of don't have much hair on this side and this side isn't very like dark. And I tend to just do like upward motions like this on this part of the brow just to really get the dye into the physical brows because I'm not doing much like shaping here. I wanna do that same technique on the front part of the brows here. I just wanna stop my angle brush and push it up because we want it to be faded. Like we don't want it to be like block brows. I like to start from the bottom and just kind of brush up and it really kind of gives it a natural kind of gradient look, which I really, really like. So I'm not gonna pack the dye on on the front because I don't like that block look. If you like it, go ahead and do it. It's not my thing. But that is kind of what the one brow was looking like. I'm going to go ahead and finish that side off here. Using, of course, the same technique as over there. So you can definitely start to see the dye starting to work on this side. This side, not as dark yet. But since we did that side first, it's developing quicker. I'm definitely taking my time to talking to you guys and walking you through this. So I may have to wipe this brow off first in a little bit. And uh, hope for the best because I didn't really think that one through. <laughs> and just to make sure that it's not super saturated at the front bits, I'm just gonna comb it out with the spoolie because I really don't want block brows. It's not my thing, it's not my thing. I'm just gonna clean up this little spot right here before it dyes the skin. So this is what my brows look like with the dye on it. So you're supposed to leave this dye on for five minutes. Since I was talking and trying to show you how I did it, you can already see that it's already developed and it's been definitely more than five minutes already. Okay, but I'm looking into the viewfinder and laughing because this is literally how I used to do my brows back in the day. They were like way too dark for my hair, like like black almost and that was like my dip brow pomade face like i think we all went through that where we did our brows huge and like super thick with the pomade i don't know like how do you think should i go back to this look how does it look on me <laughs> so to physically wipe off the dye i use baby wipes in like the non-scented like natural gentle ones and the reason why i use a baby wipe is because i've used towels in the past and then it dyes all my towels and my towels get all messed up this will be enough to wipe both left and right off and then i can just throw it in the garbage and i don't have to worry about anything being dyed and my towel's getting all messed up and weird and and just yeah use a bit wipe trust me anyways i'm gonna go in here now and wipe this away and it looks super dark right now don't panic when you wipe it away i'm telling you it's gonna be fine so i'm gonna grab my wipe and i usually grab my hands here and just fold it under and then fold it like this so i have my whole kind of hand here and then i grab it from this end and then we just wipe it away like that so most of the dye is off there I'm gonna do it again. That's one done. And you have to keep in mind as well, the dye will stay onto your skin for a little bit, so you'll just be warned there. So that is what they're looking like. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. And we actually have a tail now. So I'm gonna also wipe the side. And I have no idea why I put a little bit of skin tint on my face before I did this. Not to mention my face always goes really red when I rub it. So don't mind the redness of my face right now and my little like not the same forehead. <laughs> There we go. There they are. So I used one baby wipe, wiped both away, and I'm just literally gonna throw this. Look, I already dyed my hand. That's inevitable. I do that every single time. Yeah, I got a dyed finger. So if you do wanna use the gloves, go ahead. So I just have like a clean spoolie here. I'm gonna brush them up so you can really kind of get a feel for what the dye did to my brows. They definitely look really full. So keep in mind that I didn't keep it on this part of my brow very long. And it looks already so much darker. Look at the tail. I kept it on for over, just over about five, five minutes maybe six minutes and that's what that looks like it gave them shape it made them look like naturally shaped like this is what my real brow hairs look like same with this side here it looks really really nice really natural i don't have a tail here i don't even have hairs here like i said i don't know where they went but i'll just have to fill that in they are looking a little bit dark right now but after i shower wash my face a couple days after this will fade significantly because the dye will come off the skin so the dye actually dyed my skin which in turn is making my brows look a lot darker than than they are so just keep that in mind as well for the first couple days you're gonna have a little bit of a darker brow than maybe that you want but when we look directly on the brows look amazing so i really really love this hack it makes you look like you did your brows but you didn't actually do your brows for example there's a little bit of a dot right here under this brow that i probably didn't clean up properly with q-tip so i'm gonna have to fill it in with a little bit of pencil for today and tomorrow but like i said in a couple days it will go away depending how much i scrub my face maybe tomorrow maybe the next day your brows will fade in a couple days and look 
a lot more natural than they do now. This is like the freshly dyed situation. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be trying out this hack, if you already use this hack, or if you don't, what do you dye your eyebrows with? I'm interested to know. So let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.